Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for a show? I said, are you ready for a show? It will be tense, 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 tense across the board. Get ready for the iconic mother, Queen Sherry Shepard. She's here for her Halloween renaissance. Props to the queen, I don't know how she does all that. <laughs> but I know, y'all give it up for Beyonce. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I'm telling you, whoo, I don't know, how long Beyonce do, like three hours? <laughs> and she wasn't even breathing hard. I do 20 seconds, I'm ready to pass out. <laughs> I didn't hot flash, cold flash, hot flash. <laughs> but y'all welcome to Sherry's Halloween Renaissance. <laughs> and I wanna say, first of all, y'all look family, you look amazing. <laughs> you look amazing. So all hour long, we are paying homage to Queen Beyonce and her record-breaking Renaissance World Tour, yeah. all right? Now, for those of you who could not see the live opulence of the Renaissance, let me tell you, baby, it was a show filled with energy, music, and the best metallic outfits I have ever <laughs> seen. So we had, after I came back, I was so inspired, we had to recreate it. And look at this set, y'all. Just look yeah. at the... Oh. I am so proud of our team. Michael Lee and the art department here at the Sherry Show did a fabulous job turning our little stage into Renaissance. I have to say, it looks amazing. And I'm gonna tell you, since Beyonce and Jay-Z go hand in hand, I need y'all to please welcome my Jay-Z for today. Come on out, John! The Rock is here. Hope is here. The Rock is here. Hey, Sherry, 
baby. The rock is here. You know, I got the hottest chick in the game wearing my chain. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, you know, Sherry, they got this debate online about if people should have $500,000 or lunch with me. And I say, take the $500,000, because I gave you all the knowledge on the blueprint. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> right. Ho, ho. <laughs> the rock is here. <laughs> Yeah. Well, thank you so much, John Z. I need you to head on over to I'm gonna cheer you on over here, right, Sherry. Cheer me yeah. on. Because you gotta watch over Queen Sherry. <laughs> and y'all, I this is I love it so much. I wanted to pay tribute to Beyonce because I'm such a big fan and I, she has meant so much to me and so many other people. We are so proud of Beyonce. <laughs> I'm telling the the pride. And here's the thing, Beyonce is the epitome of beauty, style, grace, and excellence. She is a class act. So I thought I would honor her and her renaissance show for the impact that she has had on us all. Uh, thank you. And I, and I gotta tell y'all, I met Beyonce at a party once. I was invited, Aww. yes. I got the invitation from Beyonce herself, and I got there, and she was so beautiful, and I got to meet Jay-Z, too. Solange was there. <laughs> got to meet Jay. And Solange was there because Solange is a DJ, so she was there DJing. And I didn't get to get a picture with Solange because when she starts DJing, she don't play around. So she DJing. And then she stopped because the cord had come out of the, the wall. Somebody pulled the cord out the wall. And let me tell you about Salon. She don't play about her music. So she was on the microphone going, who, who tripped over the cord? And then everybody was like, who would do that? And I was like, I, I tripped over the cord. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know. I didn't mean it. You know, and I was just like, I hope nobody saw me because I didn't want to get thrown out the party. So, so Beyonce and Jay-Z started to move to go in the v VIP room. And I stood right on back of Jay-Z, like right there, like I was glued. And then the security guard put his hand out and I ducked up under him <laughs> to go in the room. And so I was in the v VIP room and I'm sitting between Beyonce and Jay-Z. And you know me, I'm socially awkward. I didn't know what to say to Jay-Z. So I looked at him, I said, I went to jail. <laughs> I was in jail. I had not read the book on the art of conversation, but he laughed and they wanted to know why I was in jail. And can, like, literally, it is a party going on, so this is me. Yeah, so they made me cough to make sure no paraphernalia was under my breast. <laughs> but they just kept laughing, him and Beyonce, everything was all good. And I, you know, and hopefully I'll get to another. Hopefully I'll get to another party. But that was my time with Beyonce Jay-Z. So we are celebrating the Renaissance all show long, and we cannot go any further without my next guest. Now, my next guest is a queen. I want you to get ready to lose it. Please welcome to my Halloween Renaissance, our special guest! Absolutely exquisite. Yes. 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 Like, I always see you 
and you're dressed very classy and conservative, but right now you got a little freaky going on, Miss <laughs> Tina. <laughs> you look so wonderful. Now, I'm, I'm, okay, I, I love your outfit because I picked it out. Right, I picked right. out. <laughs> but like, did, did the Queen Bee let you borrow her outfit? Yes, she did. She did. She did. <laughs> yeah. And, and it was so funny because uh, she sent like maybe six things over. And for us to pick out the exact that, same thing, see girl, we, we like, right yeah, here, we right, like right, right here. Right. Miss, okay, <laughs> all right. Yeah, this is, you, I didn't think I could get in it. Uh, so I got what? in it. You got in it, it you are snatched. I haven't home. eaten in a few days. Okay. <laughs> we really thinking of like, cause it's been about a week I've been fasting, <laughs> so we really. You know what, it's so funny because Beyonce wears both of our looks when she, like, when she shouts you out during Savage. Yes, okay, yes. and I love it when she shouts you out. Were you surprised when you heard that? Oh my God, yes. Well, you mean the song or? The, the Savage, because she said, I got this ish from Tina. Yeah. You know, yeah. and she talks about being your daughter, yes. Well, you know, when that song came out, um, someone called me and they were talking about it and I had no idea, because you know she never tells me anything. <laughs> and I was like, is that a compliment though? I mean, it's. <laughs> No, sure. no, not the, I got this from Tina, but uh -huh. I'm a savage. Yes, that's I a was compliment. Like, I don't know if I want to be a savage. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what it was at the time, but it was, it was a compliment. So yeah, did she funny. have to sit you down and explain to you what savage meant? No, my assistant did. She was like, no, Miss Tina, that's a good thing. Okay. That's a good thing. <laughs> now, I know, you know, just looking at Beyonce's, like, she never wore the same thing twice. No. Every concert was something different. Yeah. Did you help create the Renaissance look? Well, actually, she told me that she wanted to have more than one stylist. And okay. I actually hired four people. You hire four people? Oh, yeah, it would have been impossible. We had over 600 costumes to choose from. 600? That's a whole truck by itself. Yeah. All right? Yeah, and so she still has maybe... 150 costumes that she hasn't. That so she we, hasn't worn? Yeah, but every night she did at least five, four to five new costumes. Okay, so she's got about, she's is she gonna have a go garage through. sale anytime soon? <laughs> Cause I need, I just need a couple to walk around in. Cause this is gonna be my date on Bumble. I'm telling you, somebody gonna take me out in this outfit. But like, you catch. No, but you know, thank you. This, um, it's become a whole movement, yes. like the, the Renaissance outfits. Were you surprised that it became an, an entire movement? Yes. I mean, I look out in the audience. I've been to, I think, probably 40 of the 56 shows. And every night, you know, I see the most amazing costumes. And these costumes cost a fortune. And I'm like, I should have hired them. OK. <laughs> how are they doing this? Look, I'm I mean. I'm telling you. And, the creativity is just off the charts. It's unbelievable. And I mean, look at you guys today. You look amazing. Well, you know, her creativity, it is in her DNA, Miss Tina, and it came straight from you. Aww. So we, we, we're just so thankful you're here, and I don't want you to go anywhere because we have to take a break, and I've got to continue my homage to the Renaissance with an outfit change. And Miss Tina is sticking around because... <laughs> from you what city you think won the famous, the infamous mute challenge, all right? And we also have to discuss the legendary Blue Ivy. We're gonna keep it right here. <laughs> Sherry, we'll be right back. <laughs> Sherry changed up her look, and now it's time for her to keep the fire going. Come back out here, queen. Miss Beyonce opened up her Toronto show right. with this look. So, oh my God, I'm trying my best. How'd you like it, Miss Tina? I love it, and the fan is—it's yeah, everything. That's in my contract. The fan. 
<laughs> you have to follow. People have to follow they you around. Fo they gotta follow head. you around. With That's that. right. But I didn't know it was so much hair. I'm like, <laughs> literally, it's the hair. But everything about it, I love. I love you. And Aww. I have got. Before we went to the break, I talked about the infamous mute challenge. Yeah. Now everybody thinks that they won the I mute know. challenge, but you were there. Who won that mute challenge? You know, it's. I mean, and. I really don't know because there was so many good ones, but okay. I just remember the ones that stand out, and that's New Orleans, Houston, and Atlanta. Oh, those yeah. stood out for me. But that's that, the one I, I can't out. speak for. I can't speak for. Okay. You know, the Queen. I know because I was in St. Louis. We went to see Beyonce in St. Louis, and I was so into everything. I didn't know we. I was still talking during the music, so I know I messed you it were? up. I messed it up for St. Louis. But it was just so many. It was so many jaw-dropping moments yeah. during Renaissance, and I was just breathless, but especially we were all waiting when your granddaughter, Blue Ivy, walked out <laughs> like... <laughs> I thought that we couldn't be prouder of Beyonce, but it was just like the proud aunties looking at Blue. How, what was that like for you watching uh, her? Well, me and her dad, we were together every night. He would come to the front where I was and watch that, and I mean, we were both, I was in tears. Yes. And he was grinning so hard, <laughs> I thought his face would hurt. And you know, it, it, it's, it's mind boggling because he's out there every night and, and he yes. never gets jaded. And we are just grinning from ear, screaming at the top of our voices. Yes. And uh, you know, I was nervous the first night because she's only 11 years 11. old. And I was like, to get in front of 70,000 people, at 11 is is huge. Okay, I mean, you know, because, but did, did Blue understand, like, the magnitude of what she was doing? Did it I, hit her? I don't think so. I, I think <laughs> she just loves to dance, and she was watching the, the, the girls rehearse, and right. she asked, she said, I think I'm ready to go on stage, and her mom, <gasps> yeah, she did. Really? And her mom said, no, no, I don't think so, Blue, and, and then, she thought about it and she said, you know, if you work hard and you really come with it, then we'll let you go one time. So it was supposed to be a one-time thing. Oh, and it turned yeah. out to be the whole tour. Because, I mean, the, the, it, it was... It was magical, and she just, you know, her confidence just grew and grew, and I mean, it was a beautiful thing for her. Literally, Blue Ivy doing this tour. I said that had to be her, what I did for the summer, my book report for the winter, <laughs> my thesis, everything. But I love the fact, because we felt like family at the tour, but yes, the tour yeah. itself, the heart of it is family. It's family. And also, I, I noticed that it honors your nephew, your yes. nephew known as Uncle Johnny, who had sadly, he passed away. But are you happy that the whole world knows the oh, story? Oh, my God. You know, jo uh, Johnny used to say, Mary, he called everybody Mary. <laughs> and he was like, Mary, I'm gonna be famous one day. And, and I was like, I know you're famous here because, you know, he did everybody's clothes and he right. was lo a local famous person. But to see, I mean, I see crowds of, of, of young people. people just shouting his name and saying, Uncle Johnny made my dress. I mean, I'm a crybaby every night. When and, she does and, Yeah, and you know, the, the photo at the end, I never knew that that photo was out there. One night, they let me stay till the end because Ooh. they come and get us early so mm -hmm. we can get out. And, uh, oh, my God, when I saw that photo, it was, it just touched my heart because Johnny is truly famous. Yes, and he is. And he is up there saying, Mary, I told you. I told you I was gonna be famous. Yes. Yeah. You know, it's almost like one of the reasons we just love Beyonce, we love Solange, is because Solange, because it's like, it's such an incredible family. All of you are incredible. And your daughters are these superstars. They are these icons. Yet there's a humility about them, I think, that we just connect to. How do you keep two icons grounded? Well, I mean, they're grown now, so they keep themselves <laughs> grounded. But, you know, my mom always told me, you gotta be cute on the inside, you know, as cute on the inside as outside. That's that pretty is, as pretty, pretty does. Pretty is, as pretty does. Yes. That's how she said it. And, um, and, and so I've always taught them to just, it's just, I mean, it's so much easier to just be a good person and be nice yes. and not to get caught up in all of this because it's fleeting, it's gonna pass, your looks are gonna get, get yes. they going, you know, when you get I older. I know you didn't just do this because you, no, you, you still look the same. The, no, I Oh, my God, you see. But, girl. But I'm just saying those things fade and it's what's in your heart. It's and what's it in sounds your... corny, but it's the real truth.
Okay, but have you ever had to say to Beyonce, uh, look, girl, do you know who you... You better watch that tone. Oh, all the time. <laughs> all the time. I'm like, I'm the mama here. Because, you know... <laughs> and still to this day, because sometimes, you know, my kids are... You know, they're bossy like everybody's kids, and yeah. they, they start thinking that they my mama. Uh -oh. I have to remind them. Okay, you gotta let them know. Yeah. Well, you know, you're a strong woman, mm -hmm. and you got to raise your daughters to be strong women. Is there, like, any lessons that you have passed on to them that you've gotten from your mother? Um, just that, um, you know, to keep your faith, to okay. stay humble, stay, you know, have humility, and to just work hard that the world don't owe you nothing. Mm. Not a yes. thing. Don't be entitled. You know, my grandson now, I'm, I'm like, you know, he grew up very privileged, and that's one of the things that I try to instill in him every day is that nothing is, you know, nobody owes you anything, right. and you gotta work for it. You gotta have a work ethic, you gotta sacrifice, and if you don't deserve it, then you know, you're not gonna get it. Okay, that is a really good lesson for anybody. I know that you yourself grew up, you had the performing bug, and you grew up. So I, is it safe to say that Renaissance started with you? Okay. Oh, um, well, maybe. What did you do? Were you in, were you in a band? Or I was in a singing group called the Veil Tones. The Veil Tones, all right. Yes. And I wanted to be a singer, but I was from this little small town, very poor. And, uh, you know, I didn't have a lot of role models or, or hope for that. And, I, and nobody to really push. You know, my, my mom was like, go get you a good government job, you're gonna be good, you know? <laughs> yeah. But um, we, that's why I was so adamant about whatever my kids wanted to do, I just wanted to support it and be there 100% for them. Yes. Yeah. And so, the creativity that explodes from both of them, Solange and Beyonce, and they're so different and so, you know, in their creativity. And I know this film coming out, the Renaissance film, Woo! it's about to come out. <laughs> um, I am so excited. I know you can't say much, but is there anything we can expect in the Renaissance film? Well, just m more, I mean, the concert within itself is, yeah. is amazing, but it shows things up close and personal, mm -hmm. things that you might have missed. Oh. And there's so many different things and so many personal ele elements in it. Oh, you know, the man. documentary part is, of course, my favorite part. It's, it's amazing. Cause it's like, just one thing, like when, when Beyonce disappears backstage, mm. what's some of the things that she goes through? Oh she's, my God. We're sitting there just fainting and what does what what she do? You know, we, we laughed about this recently because I was saying, girl, you get really mean back there. <laughs> and I am really happy that I don't have to be back there anymore because I used to do the quick change uh -huh. and she would just be, it, we, we laughed because she used to do um, flaws and all and she would say, I'm a, in the morning, and I'll be like, in the evening, too. <laughs> when that concert going. And then she, after we get off, she'll say, Mama, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, I know. And sometimes she'd be crying. I was like, she crying because she knows she just said some crazy stuff to us. But that's the heat of the moment Absolutely. because you're trying to get your shoes on and everybody's waiting. And, you know, if somebody is messing up or they lose the shoes, then you, you mess up the whole show. So, so I understand it. Miss Tina, I, I hear that you have a surprise. What's the surprise you have? Okay. You can, it's right here. You well, can. we have some big news for, our, for your audience on behalf of Parkwood Entertainment and AMC Theaters. Everyone in the audience will receive a ticket to see Renaissance. Oh! <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Miss Tina, for being here. <laughs> Ren 
Jerry will be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to Sherry's Halloween Renaissance. I heard you were hungry. Well, Queen Mother Sherry did not come to disappoint. We came to serve looks, but Queen Mother Sherry is ready to feast. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> to look this good. At our Halloween renaissance, so I had to give a nod on set to the infamous Bumble costume. And news desk from the tour. Now, it's time to get cooking, all right? Now, Beyonce's Texas roots run deep, and my next guest is here to share some of her favorite Southern recipes. Please welcome Chef Cartier Brown! and you look oh, good. Oh, and you look good too, honey. Yes, mama. Now, Chef Cartier, before we get started, yes. I want our Jay-Z, A.K. John, to come on up here. John Z, you're gonna be our guest. It's the Rock. The Rock is it's here. The Rock is back. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> All right, John Z, you was a guest on Cartier's show. Yes, he was. Yeah, it airs in January, but yes. I went down to Charleston for the first time, and I have to tell you, some celebrity chefs come and you say, eh, but Cartier cooks in real life. That food was and, so and good. And again, okay? Cooks in All real right, life. And I took her to see Patti LaBelle afterwards. He did. So after, so before we even get started, I want you to scan the QR code on your screens for all of today's recipes. We are gonna get into it. What are we making today? I mean, it, it, mm. it wouldn't be Beyonce theme, Renaissance theme, if we didn't make some gumbo. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yay! Yeah. Now, you know, gumbo take all day. Mm. Okay. We don't have all day. We don't have all, right. all day. So I want to show you first about roux. The roux is the most important part of a gumbo. All okay. right? So, so you got your light color roux here, your peanut butter. What kind of gumbo butter. is this? This is a chicken and sausage gumbo. Chicken and sausage okay. gumbo. Yes. Okay. Y'all sound like y'all hungry? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So what we started off here is our roux. We have our light color roux, peanut butter color roux, and a chocolate roux. Now, Ooh. it has to be authentic, so it has to be a chocolate color a roux, chocolate okay? Color roux. So we don't have much time, so what we're going to do is crank this heat up. All right. We have, cho we have a chocolate color roux in here. All the right. darker the better, all right? Yes. So, <laughs> I mean, that was, that was a... Okay. Okay, so what we have in here is the, the chocolate color roux with your flour and your oil. That's how you get a roux. That's how you do a good Don't roux. Don't step away from the pot when you're making a roux because it's going to be burnt and people are going to talk about you. Okay. All right. We're now so, leaving the pot. <laughs> so you cook it down with your onion, your mm -hmm. celery, and your bell pepper. That's your Ooh, trinity. That's yes. the start of your flavor, all right? Trinity. All right, so with that, you're going to add some seasoning because it won't be gumbo without some seasoning. Okay, so we're going to throw right. the seasoning Some in. a little salt pepper. Mm. Some Creole seasoning. All right. All right? And a little gumbo filet. So while you're making the gumbo, then the roux, you got a Food Network series. It's called I The do. Elf on the Shelf I Sweet do. Showdown. Yes, Can yes. It's a, brand new, it? it's a brand new season. Taste uh, that, John. All right. Okay, yeah, so okay. tell us about it. So it's a brand new show for the holiday season. It's called Elf on the Shelf. It's a lot of magic. It's a lot of fun. Um, I'm hosting it with uh, Duff Goldman and Ashley mm -hmm. Holt. It's actually really, really fun. So after that, you got your gumbo cooking down your roux. You're going to add your smoked sausage. And do we? You got right. some chicken. You add the that chicken seasoned with salt and pepper. All right. Okay. Chicken in there. You want to add some garlic in there, too? Put the now, garlic in there. Can you also add some of that, that bouillon? Okay. Oh, now that chicken bouillon is gonna flavor this gumbo to another level. Okay. Now you can use you can use um, stock, but that, that, all right. So that's what do not we do? That. Okay. Okay. Bouillon will make you say booyah. Okay, all right. All right. Oh. Mix it up. What you gonna do, Miss Sherry? Right here is this what you have at the end? Okay. You wanna eat that with a little okay, rice? Okay, girl, I got don't... nine other outfits. Come on, changes. come on, no. Okay. So now we're gonna make a little cornbread. Though. We're gonna make gluten free cornbread. Gluten free all right? cornbread. Gluten free. So what we got in here is gluten free, all purpose, well, gluten free flour. So we run out of time. Can you show us what the cornbread looks like? 
it look good. Boom. You put it, and then now I gotta go cocktail. And it tastes good, okay? Okay, thank you. You got a drink. So you got a drink. Take corn free. Yes, and then this is a this is a Texas mule with a splash of hot sauce. This is what I need right here. A cocktail with hot sauce, absolutely. Okay. Hot sauce. Chef Cartier, I wanna say thank you for being here. Cartier's new series, The Elf on the Shelf, Sweet Showdown, premieres November 19th on Food Network. And up next, my Halloween renaissance continues with a new outfit. And we're playing our version of Beyonce's On Mute Challenge with a game of charades. Don't miss it. Chef Cartier Brown. (laughs) Sherry, we'll be right back. For 25 years, Beyonce has made some of the most legendary songs. So today, we are testing our audience in a game of charades. All right, now our first team is girls' time, Lily and Yvette. And our second team is the Honeybees. And on the Honeybees, we have Celine and Nikki. All right, now in honor of Beyonce's age, Each team will have 42 seconds to guess the Beyonce song. Now, if they get stuck, they can pass. The catch is, everybody's on mute. So you can't use any words. All right, girls' time. You're up first. Yvette, you will be giving the clues. Yes. (laughs) All right. right. So we are going to put 42 seconds on the clock. You ready? Yes, I am. And go. Single ladies. Yes. All right. Um, hello? Uh. Um, Exo. Jumpin' Jumpin'. Woo! All right. Um, Telephone. Yes. Um, oh, robot. Uh oh. Pass. You can okay. Covet. Ring off. Love on top. Oh my God! Halo. Um, six inches. <laughs> All right now. <laughs> bow down. Did she get bowed down? Did she get bowed down? You get bowed. I heard bow down. I think she got bowed down. You got it. All right, girl. Okay, come on up. All right. So, girl. Time, you got 11. You got 11 correct. Okay, now it is time for the honeybees. All right, so Nikki, you will be giving the clues. Come on up. All right, Nikki, there you go. Let's put 40 seconds, 42 seconds on the clock. You ready? All right, go. One plus one. All right. Baby, baby. Man, okay. <laughs> Five, four, countdown! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no, say no. Skip, pass it, let's go. No, 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 skip it. Yeah. Okay, let's go. No, crazy, crazy in love. Yeah. <laughs> blow on me, blow, blow me out. <laughs> what is it called? All right. Skip it, skip it, I forgot okay. it, I forgot it. Sound, listen, listen, listen. All right. Bootylicious, bootylicious. All right, all right. So 
getting a $100 cash gift card. Yes. And up next, come on, y'all, come on with me. Up next, a very special Sherry shout out, so don't miss it. <laughs> Sherry will be right back. Okay, family, now let's get information. <laughs> the voice of a ballroom legend who's worked with Beyonce. Please welcome Kevin Aviance. Yes. So, Kevin, you were featured on Beyonce's song, Pure Honey. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, where did you first hear your song? I was at, this is the funny story, I was home and, you know, taking a little nap, and then my friends were over at the house, and they were like, girl, the, the album dropped. I said, okay, let's listen to it. So we started listening to it. We were like, oh, this thing is cute, girl. Uh -huh. we're, we're like living nice and cozy and the rest of the round, and the heat is in. When it got to Pure Honey, I heard my voice, I passed out. You passed out? Hit the floor. Oh, my God. You know, and you know, also, I remember Beyonce showed you major love at her yes. show in Philly. How did that moment feel? It felt like... <laughs> oh, you were crying! <laughs> oh, my goodness! It was, it was so intense. You know, that whole concert, the whole thing was such an amazing thing because everybody was just brought together and then every black woman in the whole place yes. came up to me like, oh, I was like, oh, my gosh, this is so beautiful. Yes. So one, and then when she said, you know, love me and everything, I was just, you know, when someone hears you, yes, it's a fierce thing, girl. I know they you know. hear you and see you. Yeah, it's a fierce thing. Okay, so you you haven't even stopped. You haven't even stopped to rest on your laurels. Can you tell us about your new single, Body? Well, <laughs> mm -hmm. Body is about celebrating our bodies, you know, yes. and um, whatever you have, whatever you got, it's it's about it's about going out on that floor and dancing and just feeling the beat. That's what it's about. Oh. Is. to have you here with us Thank on our so Halloween. I just, we want, I want you to catch Kevin in Beyonce's Renaissance film on December 1st. And you know what? We are gonna play your new single body on our way to commercial, so hit it! <laughs> Sherry will be right back. Darlings, we're nearing the end of Sherry's Halloween Renaissance, and Queen Mother Sherry has a surprise for you all. She already had you saying, OMG, now she's going to slay even more. Sherry, turn up the heat.
said Beyonce isn't the only queen that has a silver horse. So studio audience, one of you are about to win an amazing prize. Uh -huh. Before you arrived, envelopes were placed on all your seats with a ticket inside, but only one contains a silver ticket. So this ticket wins you the ultimate Renaissance prize package. We want to thank our friends at Parkwood. It is filled with tour merchandise, Ivy Park gear featured on the Renaissance stage, and the Sherry Show added a Tiffany's limited edition Renaissance necklace. All right. Everybody, open your envelopes. Whoever has the silver ticket is the winner. Who's got that silver ticket? Come on now. Somebody's got the... Oh! There we go. Congratulations! You win the ultimate Renaissance prize package, and we'll be right back. We'll be right back. I had such a great time today. I want to shout out my dancers, Miche, Mickey, Kenny, Molly, Baby, and Bryce. You all were amazing.